That's a Ricky bracelet? No. Oh. No, oh my god, I didn't want it. My kids will love this. Hola, Hola chicos, chicos y chicos y bienvenidos un día más al canal. En de mi de más de más en el canal. Okay, I'm gonna start speaking English because I want this to be in English. You guys said that you loved watching my video in Instagram store in Instagram TV because you learned so much English and I decided to make another video and with this great girl Valeria, you don't Yay. even know how long I've been dreaming on filming together and then I when I heard that she was coming to England, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna write her. And if she says no, it's okay, but if she says yes, I'll freak out. And she said no. I was like, clear all my schedule, we're shooting with Gracie. <laughs> and here we are. I'm gonna leave all her information, her Instagram, her channel in the description box. If you wanna go and check it out, you will love her channel. I've talked about her so many times before, so you know who she is. You are the cutest, <laughs> oh my God. So, okay, this is what we're gonna do. I asked you on Instagram, um, sending us questions about um, getting married early, like very young, having kids young, everything about motherhood and being young, basically. I so don't know you how that me, feels anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you sent me a lot of questions and so we're gonna be answering them. And then she, at the same time, is going to. First of all, this is um, Gracie's makeup look on me. So she made me a little bronzer. I was wider than this, you guys, like pale. Believe me. <laughs> yes, she's, I was like a ghost. She came in, she's like, oh. It's a lot of work for me. <laughs> but so we shot um, a video for my channel where Gracie's putting her signature look on me and now we're gonna shoot one for your channel where I'm putting my signature look on you. Just Yay! Don't make me look too white. Please, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> okay. Do you still, do you know Natalia Orero? Huh? Natalia Orero? No. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Who is Natalia Orero? She's like a very famous actress. From where? From a Spanish-speaking country. Cambio <laughs> dolor, Oliver. Is that Spanish? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Remember Rebelde Way? The R Way? Sí, Rebelde Way. Of course. She's watched it before. It's yeah, freaking me out. Yes, it's I watch it and I tried so hard to look like Luciana Lupolito, mm -hmm. and I would like wake up every morning <laughs> extra early to put like a mole here. It was very disturbing. <laughs> close your eyes and close your mouth. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. This is rose water. Okay. I start every ritual with rose water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First yes. question from my husband. So, do you regret getting married? Honestly, I wasn't planning, like we were talking about in my, in my video, how you said that you just always knew that you would want to be a mom. Mm -hmm. I never had that. I never even for a second thought about family or getting married mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but when I met my husband, I just recognized um, something very special in our connection and the way he made me feel. And I just didn't think about it too much. Um, and he's much older than me. Mm -hmm. So obviously it was a very like, mm -hmm. everyone had opinions, mm -hmm. but I just really went with what I felt. And I just felt like it was the right thing to do. Was your first kid a surprise? No. Um, it was, I think that we were surprised that we got pregnant so fast because we actually, I got pregnant on my honeymoon, which was like two days, three days after the wedding. So, yeah. So when we what? went, yeah. But so, how long were you boyfriend and girlfriend before? So Gary like proposed to me two months after we met. Week number two, he's like, you're gonna be my wife. I'm just letting you know. So just know what's okay. up. So I was like, okay, this guy is mental. Um, but he didn't disappoint. He was persistent. Mm -hmm. He always, Gary always does what he says. So. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, two months later, we went to uh, Israel to visit okay. my friends and he surprised me and he proposed to me in Israel. Then we were together for a year and then we got married. Wow, wow, <coughs> I look like a ghost now. This is hilarious. <laughs> no. She's hilarious. I do! Do you think you missed out on your young life because you got married so soon? Well, I started my grown-up life very, very early. At 16, I already moved out of the house and I was supporting myself financially through modeling. So I was like, I experienced all of that. Like I traveled mm -hmm. the world, I went out to like clubs, I did all of that. So by the time I reached the age 20, I was kind of over it. Like four mm -hmm. years of constantly living around the world and going out. There's not much you can get yeah, out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know? you felt like you did everything before 100%. you settled. Yeah. Are you twin sisters separated at birth? 
I, I actually think so. And I think that now that you heard my Spanish, I obviously <laughs> have it in me. So I think so, yeah. yeah. You've been married for a long time. How do you keep the love on? Do you get like bored of like so, being with the same person for so long? Lula? I think that for us, like we always try to like date. We work together as well, Gary and yeah. I, so it's a lot, but um, I think that we also know when to give each other space. Like I, I'll sometimes go away for a little while. He will go away, uh, just travel, just like be with friends. Like we each really give each other the space to have their own world. Yes. Um, so I think that really keeps it, you know, interesting yeah, and fun. That is but so important. I feel like with marriage, I mean, there's ups and downs, right? Yeah. Some stages you're just like mm, whatever, and yeah. other stages you're like obsessed yeah. with each other. So I yeah. feel like it's a decision that you have to take here mm -hmm. because you. Like you did a promise, mm -hmm. and so you just know it in your head so good, and you just need to be every day fighting for it and just mm -hmm. making it happen every day. Advantages yeah. of, of being a young mom. I think that I can relate a little bit more to my kids mm -hmm. because I just, you know, I'm a, I have this youthful spirit, I have energy, and I think it's just like I'm still at an age. <laughs> Oh no. my god, I heard her snoring and I'm like, is she sleeping? <laughs> if she were to sleep, I would like ask if I get a doctor. Um, yeah, so I think that just like, you know, have the energy, kind of the, the life, joy, um, things like that, that I think that when you're a little older, yeah. life sucks that happiness out yes. of you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that that's like a huge advantage. Yeah. Someone said, I just gave birth. How do you take care of your body after giving birth? I think that... In North America, we have a lot of pressure to like bounce yeah. back. Um, and I think that something that people should talk a little bit more about is the fact that you just put your body through such a, like a traumatic experience and you just really want to take care of yourself and not rush into, you know, going back to looking a certain way. Yeah. Um, for me, I'm just like, I had a baby, what, four months ago? And I'm really like, yes, I love training because it's like my way of escaping mm -hmm. reality, but I don't do it because I'm like, I have to be skinny again, you know? So yeah. I think it's like, you really need to let your body heal and just remember that you have to be kind to yourself. Um, that pressure doesn't serve anybody. Do I look too white? No, okay. you still look glowy. Do I? Yeah, oh, this is like good. this, that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm going to keep this makeup all day. Oh my god, I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> no, I mean, I love my makeup too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Gosh, okay, okay, okay. How do you feel about empower women that want to be mothers and want to be entrepreneurs, want to be bosses, want to be all these things? Like, how? Because um, I feel like I want all that and I am not being a ba bad mother because I want like successful uh, businesses and being power and being like mm -hmm. the working mom or whatever. Mom guilt is like a super real thing. Yeah. And you Definitely. always feel it. I think it's just like you consciously need to remind yourself that, you know, you don't need to be there 24 seven. Mm -hmm. Like um, as long as it's when you are with them, it is quality time and they know that they can come to you whenever. Um, that's the most important. At the end of the day, kids don't really need that much. It's yeah. like in our head, we're making it this whole, you know what I mean? I'm like not a Pinterest mom. I don't do like art projects and stuff. Yeah, like I don't yeah, have the patience yeah. or the creativity. Sometimes I feel the pressure and I'm like, okay, let's do an art project. And I'm like, yeah, this no. is horrible. I hate no. it. Vivi tells me she loves color and she's like, let's color for like five hours. And I'm like, yeah, no, I, I suffer. Yeah. <laughs> I do it sometimes, but it's like, yeah, no, no. And, it, and it's okay. And I think people need to talk about it more. Like you don't have to love everything and like you don't have to constantly do everything with your kids. Um, the moms that do do it, it's amazing. And so yeah. like, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. But I'm bringing my own, you know, thing to the table. And as long as I see my kids are happy and a positive mindset, that's it. Okay, now the last question. Yes. Sing a song in Spanish for me, please. <coughs> are you ready? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's see what she comes out with. Oh my god, that's such a good song. Bonita, bonita. Bonita, bonita, bonita de man. Bonita, chiquita, bonita de man. Bonita, bonita, bonita de man. Hey! Hace muñequita. Bonita de man. We have a Spanish. Right here, you need to practice it. As I have come it. Out. I know. I'm I gonna know. practice it. When I'm gonna come visit you, good. I'll just be like, Hola, Gracie. <laughs> Esta Valeria. 
and <laughs> Sue in Spain. Hopefully you speak better than that. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> okay. Hope you love this video. Don't forget to check out her video on her channel because you're gonna laugh. It's gonna be so much fun. And I hope you love this video. Yeah, we love you. Thank you for being in my channel. Thank you for filming Thank together. So it was so much fun. Yeah. We love you and see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.